In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the AverTouch software. At the bottom center of the screen, we will go from left to right and learn how to use each feature. Your first feature is the freeze button. This is especially good for quizzing a student's memory. Place an object down, freeze that image, and make a change. Did you see what changed? Next are the annotation options. You can highlight, draw lines, or do freehand drawings. This is your screen capture button. And at the end of this video, you will learn where to save your still images and videos. This button allows you to create a video to make your own content to post, share, or save. The icon that represents a pair of scissors allows you to capture an image of a region of your choice. This is your autofocus button. The last icon is to rotate your image. But this next feature allows you to do split screens of up to three images plus your live dock cam image. Select the plus icon to add an image from your AverTouch media library. This is the default library where all the photos you capture inside of AverTouch are stored. You can also select an image stored anywhere on your computer from here as well. Just click on the image to get a green check mark. Now, select the check mark located to the far bottom right of the AverTouch window. You can randomly sort your images in the window and annotate on any of the visible window. Watch how it is done. You can import several pages at once so you can be prepared to show them to the class one at a time or up to three at a time. Clicking on the magnifying glass and the plus key allows you to zoom in on the live image. Now use the left right, up and down arrows to navigate around that image. Let's learn where the photos and videos are stored when captured using the AverTouch. You will see that you have options for choosing your desired location for the captured photos and video, as well as the image format and size of the photos and videos. This concludes your tutorial.